Hey everybody, Rick's here. In this video, I thought we would do an experiment. You see, normally I use gel medium to transfer images from my Rick's Can Do It quick transfer paper onto other items such as wood, plastic, glass, whatever. But today what I'm going to do is instead of using gel medium, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how you can use other glues and get yourself a perfect transfer every time. And for our experiment day, we're just gonna use this old bottle of Ultimate Type Bond 3 wood glue. Now, I just happen to have some wood glue and this is the kind I had. It could be Type Bond 2, it could be Type Bond 1, it could be wood glue from Zooby Doo Doo. I mean, hey, I don't care. Just grab something that when it dries, it can't be washed off with water. And so, you know, for you folks who like Elmer's glue, well, we'll certainly try that out in another video, but it is washable. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, and what are we gonna put this on? Well, of course, I'm gonna use another one of these wood slices because I'm just having a fantastic time putting images on wood slices. And so we'll get to this right after this intro. Okay guys, welcome back. And this is what we're doing. We're taking this wood slice and we're gonna put this image on here. No, not like this, but we're gonna glue it on like this. We're gonna moisten it, we're gonna peel it, and it's gonna leave this beautiful image. Now, what we have here is Iron Man, my favorite Marvel comic hero is Iron Man. And I'll tell you, Robert Downey Jr., great job, really brought it to life, big fan, what can I say? I happen to like to make t-shirts with Iron Man. I read comic books of Iron Man when I was a kid. So there's a little bit of tidbit about my childhood is that, well, I warped my mind really young reading them comic books and now you're stuck with this. All right, now let me tell you first where I got these wood slices from. Right here, my box of wood slices. I got it from the fine folks here, woodslices.com. But hey, go down in the description area below. There'll be links down there so you can grab your own wood slices. And they come in various sizes. So don't just get one size, get them all. All right, and hey, don't forget to tell them that Rick's sent you. Awesome, all right. So with that done, the first thing we want to do, why don't we just go ahead and make this surface smooth? I'm going to go and take some sandpaper with my sander, actually, electric sander. I'm going to sand this off. Okay, I'm out in my garage right now and I haven't started sanding just yet because I just remembered something and I don't want you guys to forget. And that is, it has this really nice bark you see on the edge here. And what I like to do is I like to protect it as well as make it shine really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray the edges with some varnish spray. Now, you can use varnish, you can use clear coat, it don't really matter. Just as long as it makes that nice shine on the outside and it acts kind of like a glue to keep the bark from easily coming off. Okay, so here we go. Starting to roll on me here. I don't want it to roll. Just want it to hold it up. There we go. Get that edge showing there. Okay. See how it makes it easy, easy to hold on to this thing without getting your fingers in the way so you don't spray your fingers. Okay, I can see I have a little more to do here. So I'm trying to keep it in the frame as best I can. 
All right, let's see what part still needs done here. Okay, about right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just hold it like a pizza. All right. I don't really care whether I get some on here. Matter of fact, it probably will help a little bit seal up some of the pores, but I'm gonna be sanding that, so try not to get too much on there. Hey everybody now the next thing that uh, we need to do is we need to spray paint the image with some white paint now I just grabbed whatever can of white paint I had I I've, I've used different kinds in previous videos so here's the one just to show you that I'm going to use this time it's just says flat protective enamel and it's got a white cap so uh, I'm assuming it's white paint and so what you want to do is 15 inches or to you know two feet above whatever you don't want to get close you don't want to soak the paper okay you want the paint to kind of hit it and dry immediately when it hits it so it's kind of like a flash dry now I've got this on a nice uh, wooden uh, plywood here just so that I don't spray paint my uh, nice garage floors because they we got these uh, sprinkle type floors here I don't want to ruin so always protect your area. Okay, so I'm just going to shake this up really good. All right, I think that's enough. And now from, oh, about 15 inches up or higher, I'm going to just kind of flash spray it real quick for the first coat. And it... It goes on really dry because I'm so high up and give it like uh, you know 10-15 seconds for that first spray to uh, you know dry and and protect the surface there and then we'll just keep on going until we get complete coverage so at this point just watch and uh, this is all in real time of course I'm a, I'm a good two feet up doing this. I'm doing this from a distance. So it's, it's going on without going on wet, you see. And we want to completely cover this image with white paint when we're done. But don't get the paper wet. Whatever you do, keep that paint going on as dry as possible. And if you're asking, can I use other colors? Well, yes, you can. However, the white paint is the best because it allows the colors to, to really pop and be rich. And, and if you have any kind of white in your image itself, those will come out nice and white. Otherwise, they'll come out whatever color you're, you're spray painting it. So if you've got white in your image and you use blue paint, but white is going to show blue because there's no white toner on the image. Just take a look at the inside of your laser printer, which is what we use to print the image on the paper. Highly recommended. Don't use inkjet for this paper. You can, uh, if you try out some of the tricks I have in, in another video. I don't know right offhand which video it is or what it's called, but uh, it's not recommended. Use laser, go down to you know Kinko's or something and have them print out your images in laser. All right, well, I'd say that that's uh, pretty well covered white. I, I don't need to go overkill here. 
So we're gonna wait until this is completely dry and then we will go to the next step. Okay then, uh, we have the sanded wood slice here and we have the uh, transfer and the white paint. Uh, I left it to dry for a few hours um, because I had other things to do. And through the light, I could actually see the image here. You can probably see it right there. So there's the top of it. And so I'm going to put it on like so. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of put a little mark there and a little mark there so I know where the top is. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to play around with this wood glue. Okay, and see how that works out. So, let's squeeze some on here. I haven't used, this thing's been sitting in the garage forever so I don't know, I don't know what condition it's in but let's just squeeze a whole bunch out here. If you got any big chunks of glue, try to take them off. You don't want those on there. Okay. All right, so before it dries, let's put the image on. Okay, and then Let's press that on there and then we'll use our brayer to flatten this. Give it good contact and take out any air bubbles. And if there's any it goes out, then that will happen as well. Though I don't think I'm gonna have much in the way of ooze out from what I Okay, now I allowed this to dry for a couple of hours. Uh, it's still mildly sticky, but it was really sticky when I tried to heat it with the heat gun and I figured, well, that's probably not going to be good. But I think this is probably dry enough. We're going to give it a try. Now to release the paper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sponge brush with some water on it. And let's see how this thing turned out. Okay, so moisten the back with water really well so we can try to get a nice release of this transfer paper from the image itself. We want to make sure that we're not going to pull the image off of the wood or the white paint or any of that stuff so we need to soak this here with water so we can have a nice easy peel if everything we did worked out correctly. And I don't know why it wouldn't, but this is an experimental video. So let's see what happens here. Okay, now I'm going to gently start to peel it back like so and make sure that I'm not going to lift the image you know, so far I'm not able to even get the paper off, so I'm not getting separated. <laughs> so let's see if I need to wet this part here. Is this thing even soaking in? I wonder if the water is even soaking in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of tells me that the glue kind of went all the way through, but let's see. Come on. Can we separate? We're not getting separation. Try it over here. able to separate it. So why is that? <laughs> Can't be the white paint. <laughs> so What is 
happening here? <laughs> you this because um, this was a complete failure but I want to share this with you because this could happen to you if you're not careful and apparently I wasn't but it seems that I glued the wrong side of the paper down Just, that explains why it felt kind of sticky on the top part because that was the part with the paint and I'm peeling the paint off the top that's exposed this way. That should have been the part glued down. And what gave it away is the image itself is still on this paper. And the other side, that's where the glue is. And I had it glued down like, I had it glued down like this rather than like this. So to prove my point here that I messed up, here's the cutoff piece and I could see the dots on the back of the paper here and I should have looked for it, but it was kind of, I don't know, I don't know why I didn't pay attention, but I had glued this part down this way. So I'm going to glue this down on a part of this wood here with this wood glue and then we're going to see if this image actually comes off and then I'm going to do the whole thing over again. But I, I want to include this because I want you to see what could happen if you're like me and you don't pay attention. But since this is all wet, I'm going to dry this section off here real quick. That is really amazing that I would make such a major mistake. The paper has markings on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that the lighting today is, well, it's nighttime here and I got light on the side, but perhaps you see the paper has markings that says print the other side. Okay, I think that's dry enough here. We're gonna use some more of this wood glue, just a little bit. I don't need that much to, to test this out. Wow. That, that is just, that is, uh, well, mistakes happen, right? Unbelievable. I cannot believe. Of all the people in the world that should have known better, this just kind of proves, to, you know, if you have trouble and you're like, hey, this thing doesn't work, you know, it could be something as simple as, oops, um, I did it again. Okay, so... This time, this is the back of the paper, so this is the front, so I'm just going to put this part on here. Let's wipe that off, and let's put this down like so. Okay, and I bet you that's pretty dry right now. It's hot, that's for sure. All right, so now let's, uh, let's soak that with some water. Now let's see if we can peel and we get an image. And that's certainly going to show that it was my big flub. Yeah, I can see the water soaking in. Look at the image is starting to show up. Oh my word, I can't believe I did this. What a knucklehead I am. And uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, that was it. Okay, now this is not going to come out too good because the wood is still pretty wet. But look, there's the image that didn't show up anywhere here. Look, there's no image here. There's the actual image itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and print this. I'm going to print this again. I'm going to spray paint it white, let it dry. I'm going to sand this off so that it's, there's nothing on here, and then we're gonna do this. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna glue it for you. Uh, we're gonna dry it, and I'm gonna peel it. All right. Okay, um, this is dry now, and I've decided that I'm not going to sand this down to start over, but rather I'm gonna actually put it right on top of this. And hopefully the white paint, you can see I 
printed another one and I painted it white already. The white paint hopefully will be our background that we won't see any of this. This should be interesting. So I'm leaving this on as an experiment to see how easy it would be to just kind of cover up some of the mistakes that I made the first time. And this time I'm going to make sure that I have this correct. So here, here's where it says this is uh, print other side. There's the markings there. So this is going to go on like this. Okay, and just to make sure that I have, there's Iron Man's heads right there. So I'm going to put that little dot there and of course it's going to be like right there. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue on here and we're going to do this again. All right, but this time it's going to be completely different. I'm going to glue the correct side down this time and it's going to be over this big mistake that I did. All right, so let's put all kinds of glue on here again. chunks there all right okay so this time there's the back this is the back so I'm gonna do this the right way this time all right Sure enough, everything feels different this time. It ain't so sticky on the top. I was, I was kind, of, kind of tripping out why it felt so sticky. Like, did it really soak through the paper or what? But no, it's nice and dry now because I got this on the correct way. And I'm looking up here making sure this camera is on this time too because I sent, tend to forget turn the camera on and I want to make sure you guys get to see the reveal oh this is perfect look at every, notice everything is different now I don't have that problem with that curling up anymore and it's all nice and flat and clean and smooth no stickiness I, I think I have good coverage and look no wrinkles nothing look at this and remember the remember the last time see there's no wrinkles or anything okay so this is the correct way to do it i messed up last time but you got to see what happens when you mess up <laughs> all right so i'm not even going to bother trimming the sides or anything just make sure that i've got I got it pressed all around the edges. Just be careful not to break the bark off. All right, well that's good right there. Okay, clean this bottle top off. So let's uh, let's see if we can dry it really quick here. And um, I'm gonna do this for about five minutes or so, and then we'll be right back. Okay, I've I've only done it for a minute. Um, and the reason why is uh, it's after midnight here right now and this lighting isn't the greatest I don't think but 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it the night. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm just going to let, let this dry overnight. Now, I could have used the hair dryer or the heat gun and dry it in five, six, eight, ten minutes, whatever, and it'd be ready to go. But, uh, you know, uh, it's late. So I'm just going to let it sit overnight, no issues. And, whoop, lights off there. And I'm going to turn off the other light over here. And I'm just going to call it the night. And uh, to you, it'll be a few seconds. But for me, it's good night, and we'll come back tomorrow. All right, good morning. Yes, it's the next day. Uh, for you, it's just been a few seconds. It's the magic of Hollywood. Well, let's just throw Hollywood out of there. It's the magic of video and YouTube. Well, uh... I got some better lighting here. I have a window right in front of me and it's gray skies, thunderstorms like crazy, rain. But uh, you know, look at the look at the shadows. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, rant over. This is completely dry. Uh, I could have done it last night, but like I mentioned, uh, I was just going to go ahead. It was already after midnight and, you know, guys got to get some sleep. So this is perfect, nice and flat, glued, paper. Whoa, wait a minute. Wow, look at it, it's, it's already peeling up and it's already got an image underneath. But I'm gonna do this the easy way, even though it looks like it's willing to peel up without any moisture. I'm gonna, just in case I might end up pulling up something I don't wanna pull up, because you can pull the, Remember, I uh, glued this on top of that mistake I did. And, uh, you know, that could just kind of come off if I have any tension at all. So I'm going to just moisten the back of this paper here. That's how it's supposed to be released anyway. But that was weird. It was just already starting to peel off. That's, that's interesting. Okay. So we just get it nice and moist like that. Get a clean paper towel and just take off the excess you don't need all this water here you take the excess off all right so now let's peel makes it way easy look at this wow all right well not too shabby not too shabby i got a a little bit, where's that? Right there, okay. So, I have a little bit here that I didn't glue down. So that's of course a problem with bad contact when you're rolling or you don't have glue there. And, and again, uh, remember that this is on top of that mistake that I did. And look, I can't even tell where that mistake is. Look at that. That's wild, isn't it? Has a nice feel to it, also kind of, kind of like a, a plastic or no rubber maybe or vinyl, maybe a nice vinyl feel to it. But uh, that's a pretty good transfer right there, if I say so myself. Look at that, that really came out nice. And I had some really good. It came off the paper, so. Can you use wood glue? Yes, you can. And the secret to using it is before you glue it down, make sure that you uh, put a nice light coat of uh, white paint over your transfer. All right, and then it allows it to come off pretty much as one complete image and uh, the glue holds on to it really well. Look at that. So we continue to find uh, new and, and other ways of using uh, this paper. Again, this is the Rick's Can Do It Quick Transfer Paper. It's available at our website. Links down in the description area of the video. Isn't that nice? That came out perfect. And, and of course, uh, feel free to spray it with a clear coat, varnish, whatever, to protect it. 
and uh, makes a great gift. All right, well, hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and tell me what you thought about my leaving in uh, the mistake I made and also what you thought about me trying to put it on top of that rather than starting over from scratch. And uh, you can see for yourself that uh, there's no evidence of that, um, what do you call it, the paper that was all left all over and then that little uh, image that I was able to test with. There's no evidence of it. It looks exactly the way it would had this just been bare wood. All right. Thank you so much. And a like, please, so that, uh, you know, the YouTube algorithm and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.